previously on The Mark of Kree. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, welcome back. I'm Will Scott, and we're playing the Mark of Cree. This is the fifth mission, which is Hyde's Tower of Flame. Um, it's a water volcano temple, and it's got this sweet sea monster motif going on here. That archer's back is to me, that's convenient. Their backs are- oh, that one got guy kind of patrols, okay. looks pretty straightforward. He almost walked off there. Okay. There's a spear guy over there. Oh, I thought I saw the light of another place, but... Okay, let's, um... Is there a little... Ooh. Not as close, but that's okay. I'll be patient. That sash new? I feel like I didn't have that red sash before, but... I mean, if I didn't, I'm not sure what would have been holding on my little bundle of joy there. That usually means a baby, I just mean weapons. Okay, there probably was a faster way to do this. I was just excited that I could go around the corner. It's bad news for everyone, I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I feel like I'm most the way through this game. Which kind of makes me sad, but hopefully there's another level or two after this one. The last level was really good, and so far this level's been really cool too, and I hope... I mean, there's another weapon, so there has to be another level after this one. Oh, shit. Well, that was almost... that was close. Fortunately... No, no, I wanna... I wanna stealth attack both of them. I don't remember how to cancel. There's a way to cancel. And I don't remember what it is. Let's see if it's in the, um... Recall hints. Drop down stealth. Previous bore. Single shot, multi shot, sage, disarm, use, flashing combat buttons. Right analog stick to assign the button to enemy. Depress the right analog stick to unlock. Okay. So this is not a double stealth situation, huh? Well. 
I don't accept that. There's a bird. I wonder if Kazoo will scare this guy. Maybe he'll just hang out with me buddies. Compare beak sizes. Can't be shot. Can be shot. And... Can be shot. Okay, so... This is definitely a... Scare the bird type situation. I wonder if shooting the bird doesn't kill it. It's like with a boar, it feels like sticking an arrow in its butt's not gonna do anything, but with a freaking bird. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. A lot of neck snaps. I've seen a tie hard double takedown, but I haven't seen a tie hard single takedown, so I'm hoping there is one. And we know the drill here. A lot of save scrolls. Like, you can see at least two from where I'm at. And a lot of birds, and a boat, and a bridge. So there might be multiple paths here. This is a big area. I say that every level, I feel like I'm just getting repetitive. This game has big areas. And they're not that big, but I guess I expected smaller areas in this game from the first level. Smaller, more linear areas, and it's not what I'm getting. This game definitely delivers. Is that me? Yep, okay. Wow, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save scroll right now before I mess all this up. And let's get ready to snipe. That bird, that just straight up sounds like a pig. Okay, well, let's not be foolish. Let's, let's scout ahead. I really didn't... The game's sneaky. In the first, the first level where they introduced Kazoo's scouting, I thought, eh, I'm never gonna use this. Big armor knight, horn guy. Okay, looks like I can snipe them. Guys will come out there. Lever. I can snipe them. I wonder if... I wonder what the deal with this bird is. Let's start with the bird and see what happens. Uh, there's never been a case where the bird was, like, bad. That was it. That was the case where the bird was bad. Although the horn guy didn't see me, so I guess that's okay. Um, the case that animals is bad is that you, uh... The guys are already facing you, so when the animal alerts them... They see you. Oh. 
So we've got the armor axe guy left, and he looks like it. I like on the icon, I like that the Taihar, the spear point, comes out of the circle. Looks cool. It's a neat visual design element. Okay, buddy, let's do this. Wait, is your back to me? Okay. I don't know what happened there, but that worked out good. Looked like I nutshotted him. The health. And pull this lever. I don't. Okay. That's progress. Oh. It didn't open, though. So I might have to pull more than one lever to open it. So that's gonna be progress. And that's what these other paths are, is other levers. That's the way I came. It's funny, because I thought this went to the same place the boat went, but I guess that's not the case. So let's go this way. Oh shit, someone saw me. Not sure who it was. Those archers can see mighty far. I think I got him. You can tell from the music stopping. That's awesome. Okay, well... I'm not gonna save yet. I only have the one. There's a lot of guys over here, and that looks like a lever. Looks like maybe I was spot on about needing to pull these different levers. What is this? Just just a place to sit? Okay. Well, I don't think I want to be over here. So the plan is move forward, shoot the archer when she turns around. Man, this worked for them in the other level. Oh. She doesn't know how to jump down. Okay. Drawing the bow still makes the sword drawing sound. Yeah, I'm gonna save scroll here. Because there's a save scroll up ahead. And I want to save scroll before starting to mess up this fight. Oh, 
Okay. So I feel like the obvious first move is snipe the hornblower. I don't see any flocks of birds or anything I can use as a distraction. Oh, he's getting back up. I didn't think that would happen. Yeah, now that I've gotten a, a good hang of the combat system, I feel like the biggest room for improvement in this game would have been the little camera, um, with the camera in general. Like, the camera clips through walls occasionally, like it just clipped through a pillar while I was fighting. And the two camera options leave something to be desired between the two of them. Full health is always good. Um, I officially didn't pay enough attention to the cutscene, and I didn't see the door actually opened. Kind of thinking it... maybe it didn't? Okay, so there's gonna be three levers, which makes sense, because there's three paths. And I already sniped those archers from, like, one of them I couldn't even see. It's a hornblower. He looks snipeable. Let's see what we're gonna have to fight. Well, that's not bad. Three Tyhar guys. They are way tougher than the sword guys, but I'll manage. I might be able to snipe. I might be able to stealth all these guys. I might be able to ghost them. I'll be able to snipe this guy, then that guy, then stealth kill and stealth kill, but it's gonna be a little. It won't be. It won't be nothing. And I forgot how far away I was, so I guess we're gonna wait. Oh no, he'll see me. He'll see me. Okay. Okay.
so far so good. Well, shit. I'm not sure what alerted him, but it's not. I don't know why he's got to stab him like right in the taint. He's stabbing their testicles off every time. Okay, I really expected that to open. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. To be fair, again, it's one of those doors I never actually tried to open, because I'm dumb. So who knows what's going on. Maybe now it's unlocked. Nope. So I pulled three different levers. Oh. <laughs> I, again, forgot that I could climb. So there's four paths. So I should assume four levers. Yeah, this level's really cool also. Oh boy. Oh, bell, okay. Well, I'm not sure how that bell's gonna affect this, but... Just the horn blower goes, okay. That's fine. Works for me. And none of them can be sniped. And none of them were affected by the bell. I'm gonna try shooting the bell again now that I'm closer. Which is like a video game logic. Nope. Okay. Let's do this. In fact. Let's save. And then do this. One down. Spirit does so much damage. His Tyler has like some brutal shape to it. Man, I'm gonna die to this guy. Oh. That's so nasty. Okay, health. And here's our final lever. Oh, I well, apparently wasn't standing close enough to it, and I just switched back to bird view. There we go. 
I think I still have an extra save scroll. Nice. Okay. And I'm... Oh, yeah. I got a health pickup. Okay. So, I'm going to pick up this save scroll. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, let's... I'm going to get my bow out. Last time, I basically had to shoot guys while I was on the boat, so... I don't feel like this is a safe thing to do. Like, I'm just going to stand on this unmoored boat that's drifting out into a freaking storm. I told you they were vulture pelicans. Look at the top of its head. That's totally vulture. Straight out of the jungle book. That's a wrecked ship. That's cool. These archers have more health. You don't headshot them. They take a longer time to die. Oh shit! They did quite a bit, quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, they're really liberal with safe scrolls. You can see I get another one. I get one before the boat ride and after the boat ride. So even if I had zero, I could save before and after the boat ride. Okay. So... The archers are facing the other way. We need to wall stealth. Snipe. Snipe. Wall stealth. Okay. Should be easy peasy. And that one's even going the right way. Okay. Freaking miracle, I haven't been seen by that lady. I actually thought I sniped her. I must have confused her with someone else. Ten years later. I don't know if I can be seen by that person. Yup. Oh, and there was a horn blower. Man. And I didn't even save, did I? Come <laughs> on. 
Can't shoot that one. Okay. I hear him. I hear him coming. get a chance to redo this okay well I'm gonna give this another shot next time I'm gonna go ahead and cut here this time we made it past the first what I assume is probably the halfway point of this area we pulled the four different levers to open the gate taking our second boat ride here and there's a big area at least three horn blowers because I neutralized two and someone still blew the horn bunch of snipers armored snipers and I think I know most of what I need to do to go through here safely but I messed it up so next time I'm gonna try again thanks for watching if you like my videos please like my videos and subscribe catch you guys next time